Okay, learners, we are continuing our discussion on Unit 9, Promotion of your Marketing Management course. So, this is the last video of Unit 9 on Promotion. Here we have taken up uh, some learning objectives. And after going through this particular video, you should be able to identify what are the advantages and disadvantages of advertising. Then you should also be able to define sales promotion, publicity, to other promotional tools. And then the push and push mar uh, pull marketing. What is the difference between these two? These are the four things that we have taken up to be discussed in this particular video. And in the preceding videos, we have discussed about types of advertising, what advertising is all about. So here we are going to discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of advertising. Then understanding the concepts of sales promotion, publicity, and then push marketing and pull marketing. So what are the advantages of advertising? So advertisements have, right, uh, when we are going for television advertisement, it has got a visual appeal. So it's an expression is amplified. So that amplified expression is an advantage of, say, television advertising. If we go for radio advertising, say, good quality sound, and that reaches right to the remotest part of the country, that is an advantage, advantage of radio advertising. In case of newspaper and magazine advertisement, say, newspaper advertisement, say, tender advertisement, recruitment, these are the things which are mostly people look for, those who are in need. And many times they also read the other advertisements which are published in newspaper. Magazine advertisement, it's mostly leisurely reading. Say those of you who are say, making the frequent, uh, say, <coughs> frequent flyers, air travels. So they, during air travel, the in-flight magazine, many times we look at it. And we look at it in a very leisurely manner. So that, that leisurely reading, that is an advantage of magazine advertisement. But in case of newspaper, it's mostly hurried reading. In the morning, we just see the newspaper. We do not go, right? do not have the time to go to the, all the details. And we postpone reading and think that in the evening, we shall see it. And suppose in the evening, we don't get it. The next day morning, the next day newspaper arrives. So that is a hurried thing. So that's why newspaper advertisement will see that the headings are given, the headlines are given right, in a catchy manner so that we don't miss it. And many times we, in order to place lots of information, say tender advertisement, recruitment advertisement, etc., contents, right, depending upon the content layout, we need to give it. Advertisements have got the benefits of building long term image. And many times we can restore the frequency. Because many times the products are repeat persist. So to give the consumers a hammering, constant hammering, repeat reminders, we make use of advertisement. Disadvantages, cost per person may be low, but total cost is high. Mostly in case of mass media, like say newspaper, national level newspaper, Times of India, cost is forbiddingly high. Television advertisement, right? prime time, cost is very high, cost per second. Cost per person, cost per exposure, cost per thousand, cost per million may be low, but overall budget, promotion budget, it goes high. Advertisement, other uh, disadvantage is monologue, it's not dialogue. Personal selling, the salesperson and the customer, they go for a dialogue. It's didactic relationship, conversation takes place. But in case of advertisement, it's mostly one-way communication, monologue. There is no scope for having questions, answers, yeah, clarifications, like all those things are not there. And advertisements are said to be less persuasive than personal selling or say sales promotion. Sales promotion have got an immediate inducement. We are going to discuss about that. So sales promotion is an activity or material that offers consumers, salespersons and retailers. A direct inducement for purchasing a product. Direct inducement. Buy two, get one free. That is a direct inducement. For whom it is directed? This is for the consumers. This can be directed to the retailers also. Buy 10 cartoons, you get one carton free. Then break down carton, you sell it to the consumers, but you will get one carton free. That is a direct inducement. To the salespersons, 
that you are working in a photocopier company, your target is 100 photocopiers, and if you can sell 110 photocopiers, you will be entitled for a bonus. You will be entitled for some incentive. That is direct inducement. So sales promotion is an activity or material that offers consumers three categories. Consumers, salespersons, and retailers. Retailers means intermediary. It could be wholesalers also. It could be distributors also. So intermediary. These are the three categories for whom sales promotion can be targeted. So it induces strong reaction. It induces quick action. So stronger response and quick action are two hallmarks of sales promotion. So three days mela is on before the mela, during the mela, after the mela. We gave a sales discount. The special discount for the mela discount of say ten percent. Book fair, we are entitled for an extra discount like that. But it may not be regular. Maybe once in a year. That too. Sometimes in November. Sometimes in December. It may not be regular. Once in a year, or could be once in a once in six months. But that is an inducement. So these are the sales promotion. The other one is publicity. Publicity is not directly paid for. Say if you are advertising in the newspaper or say television, you would have to pay centimeter wise, cost per column, you would have to pay per second wise, cost per second. So for a 10 second slot in the prime time of the television advertisement, the cost will be forbiddingly high. But in case of publicity, you don't directly pay for. Suppose the organization is going to launch a new, say, antibiotic. So the pharmaceutical organization, instead of going for an advertisement, can organize a press meet, can invite the journalists, can brief them that this is the new product we are going to launch, these are the benefits, this has a specific capacity to fight diseases. So next day morning, the newspaper, the consumers or the type of readers will come to know about that particular antibiotic. So this is a publicity. It's not directly paid for, but it is a managed activity. That's why it is also a sales promotion. So a non-paid form of non-personal communication about an organization or products that is transmitted through mass media like a newspaper or say television in the form of a news story. That is publicity. So it does not directly facilitate exchange, exchange of information that way. So it acts an off-guard. Off-guard means suppose many people do not see the advertisement in a newspaper. They go for the news items only. So when they will read it, that this particular company has launched a new antibiotic as a news item, so they will be targeted that way. That is off guard. If we give an advertisement, they will possibly will not read it. But as a news item, they will be reading it. And as it will be as a news item, read as a news item, so its credibility is likely to be high compared to advertising. So that is an advantage of publicity. Then another thing that we are supposed to discuss in this particular video that is given in your SLM also is push strategy and pull strategy. As you know by the dictionary definition, push is push, pull is pull, pull is towards the marketer, push is towards the consumer. So push is across the channels. The company will produce the things, will try to sell to the distributor, giving some discount, etc., etc some incentive, distributor will further give the incentives to the wholesalers, wholesalers will give it, retailer will give it, it's a push, push, push. But in case of pull, the, the demand will be generated. The consumers will come to know about the product, they will go to the retailer, do you have this product? No, I don't have. So please have this. Retailer will place the order to the distributor. Distributor will place the order to the, right, the dealer. Dealer will place the order to the company. So it will be generated across from the consumers, that is pull. Push will be from the producer to the next level. So in case of push marketing, advertising and promotional strategies are geared towards the marketing and distribution channels to entice them in promoting products or services. The marketer promotes the product to the next number, to the next level in the same in the marketing channel. But in case of pool marketing, the marketer promotes the products directly to the consumers and stimulate stronger 
consumer demand for the product. So these are the basic aspects which we have discussed in unit 9. We have discussed about the promotional tools, the different media, some of their advantages, disadvantages, etc. Thank you very much.